Hi guys, how are you? I see everyone saying there's no video, but I always put that little sign up, the text to connect sign. So I do that before I go live. Um, can you see me now? I'm guessing you can. And I hope you guys are doing well. I am thrilled to announce that as a team, we raised thirty-two hundred dollars for the auction last week. So I am incredibly proud of that. I've already made the donations and I am really proud of this community and this group for participating. Thank you all who purchased and a special thank you to everyone who donated product and of course to Donatella and to Thelma for being my co-host. That's a heck of a lot of money. A lot of money. So it will go to Aishel House and it, um, well, it did. It, go, it went to Aishel House and it also went to um, to MD Anderson. And I specified that it was, you know, for research because they do give you uh, an opportunity to pick where it's going. And there's Raquel. Hello, my love. Raquel is recovering. Thank you to everyone for their prayers and thoughts and notes to me and purchases and donations and all of that. And to those of you who donated, I just want to let you know, I still have tons of product and I absolutely will be doing more auctions in the very near future or maybe, you know, an extra hour tacked on to what I usually do in auctions in the next couple of weeks. But today will be a regular auction, and it will focus on the haul that I did this weekend at the antique fair and the antique show. And so I'm excited about that. I see Susan Powell is in the chat, and I'm thrilled that she is because she is also joining me on Friday for my first Artisan's Corner. And I'm super excited about that because we will talk to Susan about the jewelry that she makes. And that's very exciting. She's made a couple of pieces for me. We talk a lot, you know, to her in the chat because she's super knowledgeable about semi-precious stones. Um, so that's going to be awesome. And I posted about it already. So you'll be able to see a little preview of what she's showing. There's a little photo. So you'll have to expand the photo. But um, I saw what she's showing and I'm super excited about that. And, you know, she's in the chat right now. I see some of you are writing to her. Um, and hello to everybody. Polly Barb, fun surprises, Joanne, et cetera, et cetera, Autumn. And anyone who I haven't said hello to, there's a, almost 50 people here now. So that's awesome. Thank you for joining me today. Um, so, oh, okay. My heart necklace. This is Robert Lee Morris and it is a set. Look at this. Amazing. Right. And that brings me to tell you about the next auction. So today will be about the haul from last weekend. Friday will be a, um, a look at all of Susan's jewelry. And I'm probably not going to sell anything on Friday. I may take out a couple things if we have time for it. But it's going to be all about Susan because I want you guys to see her amazing work. And then next Wednesday is going to be a special Valentine's Day episode. So it's going to be hearts and flowers and pink and red and all kinds of things like that. So I may bring this. This is a special piece. And I just found this one and I just looked on eBay and it is going for $500. So my eye is, I think, getting better and better, um, which I'm excited about. So, oh, and thank you, Fun Surprises. That's very, very sweet for you to say. All right. So let's get started. This is going to be a regular auction, $5 increments. And I am going to put my text to connect up here on the ticker tape. And basically, if you have not bought from me before, you must text to connect. And please send me your email address associated with PayPal and the country where you live and your YouTube name. And if we've already worked together before, don't worry about that. $45 will get you free shipping and 
um, if you're in the United States and outside of the United States, it will be a split. It's usually $10 for Europe um, and Canada and $20 for Australia. But that said, if it's extra heavy in Canada and Europe, I have to charge a little more. Shipping is getting expensive for me. So that's that. And let's get started with this cool piece. Like I said, I went into the antique show last week. So almost every piece is from that, which is exciting. And I'm going to start with an African trade bead and turquoise necklace. Um, for those of you who don't know what the African trade beads are, and I think many of you do, they're they're actually very pricey, and um, and they represent a currency of days past. So this is one of the nicest ones I have seen. Hi, Robin. Um, and we are starting this at $85 and I will try and write the starting bids in the chat. I'm getting faster at this, which is great. So I remember, but it's all written down for me today. So I should be fine, but I do have some extra pieces and you guys know, once I say it, I forget it. Um, so this is pretty amazing. And let me measure this piece. I know I have my measuring tape. It's pretty amazing. Really beautiful. Super colorful. And it is 20 inches. And look at the back of it. It's kind of cool. That's what it looks on the back. Looks like there's a carved monkey. I did not test this for silver because I don't think it is, but maybe I should have. And that is super colorful and beautiful. And look how amazing that will look. So let me bring it closer. Starting bid of $85. And that's what it looks like. And this was purchased at the antique fair at the Miami Convention Center last weekend, which was amazing. I did a full weekend of antiquing, and this is really my haul that you're going to see today with a couple of extra pieces thrown in. All right, so this is African trade beads. You know what? I'm going to test it. I didn't because the pendant's not marked. The beads are not because the beads I see are, you know, I mean, they could be vermeil, but... Let me just see something. Hmm. Let's see. Might as well test it. I'm curious myself. No, not sterling. The value really here is um, about the trade beads, not about the sterling. But, you know, of course, I would want to know, too. Let's see what everyone has to say. Susan says, you'll never see another one like that. Can you get a little closer on some of the beads? Yes, I absolutely can. All right, so hold on. Let me just get rid of this acid because I don't want it on my hands. All right, so here's a close-up on the beads. They're gorgeous. You hear Boo? No, she's not here. She's sleeping. Oh, look, I see. I buy sheet. Um, that's what I'm going to call it. Thank you for joining. We met at the, um, I think your name is Christopher. We met at the charity auction. Thanks for coming in. I love that screen name. All right, we can move on. I thought I heard a kitty meowing. No, she is pouting. Mark left for work today and she she um, cried and then she went to sleep. So guys, if you ever see something you like and you're viewing this after, I always um, honor my starting bid. 
because I think it's the, um, the right thing to do. So let me know if you're watching this after, if you're interested. And many of you do write to me after you see the show and ask me for certain things. And I absolutely welcome that if you're looking for a you know, specific strand of pearls or a gemstone, always feel free to write to me. All right, this is a brutalist piece. It's by a designer called Sasha Brostoff which I just learned about. And I will put the name in the chat so you can Google it. And the starting bid is going to be $80 on this. I encourage you to Google it. I learned about this artist after going to the, to the show. It is a brutalist piece. Very cool. You can see it's like a lion pendant. Hi, Jean. How are you? And that's an $80 starting bid. It's an amazing medallion. Let's give you a reading on that and how long this is. I know it's an incredible piece. It's 24 inches on the chain. Very awesome. You know, I did find a couple of designers that I haven't purchased before, so I was kind of excited to find them and learn. And that's an $80 starting bid. It's an incredible piece. 76 here today. One thing I, I learned recently, I, I looked in the um, analytics section, which I don't really often do, and... I learned that a great portion of the folks who join my auctions are not subscribed. So I would super, super appreciate it if you would subscribe to my channel. It helps the channel grow and it brings in new viewers. So I would really appreciate it. Please subscribe when you have a moment. And then you'll also find out when I go live. All right, so we're moving on. Let's move on. Um, this is Givenchy, and it is a pair of earrings. Now, guys, I know I had the necklace to this, and I just found the earrings. So if you purchase the necklace, I cannot re remember who did, I thought I knew who did, but I did um, reach out to that person and it wasn't them. So not sure if they're in the chat or if you guys remember, but I hope whoever bought the necklace sees this. And this is a starting bid of $80. I did sell the necklace a while back. It's an $80 starting bid. Yes, Janice, you may, of course. Let me just write that down so I do not forget. Give me one second. They're beautiful. Okay. Thank you so much. And let me bring those earrings back in just a second, guys. They're a beautiful size. I feel like they're an inch in each direction. And I will put these away for you. Thank you. They're gorgeous. You're going to be very happy with that. Okay. Back to the earrings. Let me measure them. And these are... Yeah, just over an inch. I know they're gorgeous. They are very special. So $80 will get us started. If anyone can remember who bought this necklace, that would be awesome. And hopefully that person is either watching or will watch after. But it doesn't look like I have any bids, but I'm hoping the person will see this. 
They're amazing. And I will hold them for a little bit to see if someone reaches out to me for that. Okay. These are Kramer. Also beautiful clip-ons. And I am going to start these for $30. Let me make sure I write this in the chat. They had so many absolutely gorgeous things. These remind me of little garnets. And they're so beautiful. $30 will get us started on this. They're gold tone, vintage Kramer. Don't those look like garnets? Beautiful earrings. Let me flip them around. They're clip-ons. And you can see the maker's mark there. $30 will get us started. Don't they look like garnets? Or pomegranate seeds. Okay, Jennifer's in for 30. Thank you so much for your bid. Now looking for 35. Wow, almost 90 people are here already. Amazing. And we'll definitely do giveaways today as always. I know, don't they look like pomegranate seeds? Looking for 35. Yeah, they are, they do have some color inside of them. They're like, um, they've got like a an iridescence inside that makes them look like, like a moonstone or, can you see that? They're very cool. You see that guys, how they change? It's like almost like an iridescence mother of pearl inside of those beads. All right, I don't see any other bids. I'm gonna call it down for Jennifer. Going once. Going twice. And sold to Jennifer. Guys, I move pretty quickly. So if you love something, I definitely encourage you to bid it, bid on it. I don't want to rush you either, but I have so much that I pull for these shows. So I do try and get through it. I also don't want people to be bored. So, you know, let me know if you love something. Um, throw a bid out there and we will move pretty quickly through this so I can show it all. All right. These are amazing amazing these are gorgeous i may have to put these on 1980s gold earrings gold tone earrings and they are unmarked and i need to try these on for you i'm doing a 30 dollars starting bid and these are outrageous look at that 30 dollars will get us started for these they look like they're plated. I'm not sure if they are because usually I know based on the um, the maker's mark, but they're not marked. So $30 would get us started on these. Hi, Donatella. I mentioned you before. Thank you so much. Final total, and I made the donations today, was $3,200. Because of everyone's efforts, thank you so much for your help. These are stunning. $30 will get us started on these. They're a great size. Let me bring them closer and let me measure them for you. Whoops. They are two inches. So an incredible size on these. $30 will get us started gorgeous vintage earrings. Lisa P is in at 30. Thank you for your bid. 
These are very high end looking and I'll bring them closer, but the, the plating on this is outstanding. Can I weigh them? Yes, I can weigh them, but they are clip-ons, just so you know. They are not posts, but let me weigh them. Nineteen grams. They feel very rich, like they almost feel like um, a Saint John or something else. Gorgeous, right? Oh, thanks, Phil. This is vintage Robert Lee Morris, and I have the matching earrings to the necklace. The necklace is on sale right now for about $500 on eBay. I will bring this to the Valentine's Day sale. So you'll have to look for that if you're interested. And I think Lisa P is my only bidder. So I will start to call it down for her. We would be looking for 35. Let me show you the back one more time. Going once to Lisa. Going twice to Lisa. And sold. Thank you so much. Those are gorgeous. Absolutely stunning. All right. And now I'm going to do another pair. Also, I think vintage might be might be earlier than 1980s because they kind of look a little modernist to me um but these are also beautiful and i'm going to start these at 30 as well they remind me of a paisley or almost like i don't know like a fortune cookie $30 will get us started. Again, they are not marked. They're beautiful though. Also from the antique fair. Let me put them on the earring holder tool. I'll bring them closer to you. And they're awesome. You can wear them either way with the swirl facing you or not. Hi, Moon Goddess. I got my bracelet today. Wow, that's a whopper. I'll show it to you guys. I bought myself an amber bracelet. $30. We'll get us started for these. Beautiful vintage earrings. They're like hammered in the back. All right, we're gonna pass. Let me show you this amber craziness I bought. Some of you were there when I did, but look at that. Is that amazing? So thank you for that. I will wear that on another day. All right, let's do these cool earrings. These are wood. They're very light though. Thank you. Look how cool those are. All right, and I'm gonna start these. Let's start these at 15, okay? Ah, uh, thanks, Teresa. This is Robert Lee Morris. Look how cool these are. Nutter's in first at 15. Thank you, Nutter, for your bid. And I have another pair later in the show. And um, I believe 
This is, hold on one second. This is, I believe, unmarked Dominique Arendtis. I will bring that later in the show. Kind of similar vibe. Look how amazing those are too. All right, Nutter's in at 15, looking for 20. And these are light as a feather. So let me tell you how much these weigh. You would think that there would, that it'd be heavy. Those are eight grams. Different in a good way. Yeah, they're both really cool. Right? All right, Nutter's in at 15, looking for 20. Thank you, Nutter, for your bid. It's almost like a J, like a J hoop. All right, going once to Nutter. Going twice. And sold, sold to Nutter. Thank you so much. I know. Well, statement earrings are huge right now. And I'm going to bring, I don't know when I'm going to do it, but I was reading Vogue this week. And I'm going to do a, um, a special, like a what's in style for spring and summer soon. And, um, and statement earrings are big and hoops are very, very big. Not that they ever go out. Thelma, are you here? Thelma and I are obsessed with hoops. I'll say I'm obsessed with hoops. Thelma, I don't know if I should say obsessed for you, but I know you like them a lot. Same for me. All right. Um, let's get away from the earrings. Okay, I'm going to do a choice on this, which I rarely do. But they were so similar that I'm going to do a choice. And I'm going to start these. You guys know how choice works, right? You don't know which you're going to um, you're going to get. So you're going to bid on one of these two, but not say which one that you want. The winner has the choice of one or the other, and they can also get both. And then the second bidder gets the other one. Okay, so you've seen this in other auctions before. So let me tell you, these are both coin pendants. This is very hot right now, very, very hot. This opens like this, which is really cool. Right, and it snaps right in. And the coin is gold and the mesh chain is silver tone, right? Okay, and then the other one is on a gold chain and is mostly gold tone with silver in the center, all right? And I'm going to start this at 60. So this is choice. $60 will get us started. Here are the lengths. It does look like Les Bernard, but it's not marked, so I can't promise that it is. Um, the length of the silver one is 15 inches, and the gold, which can come off of this chain, I put it on a gold tone chain, is 18 inches, but it will also be absolutely fabulous on something thicker. So I wish I had something thicker right here, but you know, you guys know what you can do with this. I would probably put it, let me see. Oh, here it is. Okay. I probably put it on a tour. 
but you guys know what I do. I always put everything on a torque. So this is what it looks on, like on a torque, which I'm sure many of you have. And Sandra came in first for 60. Barbara Mulvena is now at 65. Look how amazing it looks on the torque. And many of you have this already in your collections. So that's also fantastic, but I'll send it to you with the gold chain, okay? They're both beautiful. They really are. So this is the gold one. And here's the silver. They're beautiful. Okay, Sandra's in at 70, now looking for 75. Again, this is choice. The winner has an opportunity to choose one or both of the necklaces at the winning price. And if she only wants one of them, then the second highest bidder will get an opportunity to buy the other one. So Barbara Mulvana is now out. So Sandra, you are the winner as of now. I don't see anyone else coming in. So going once to Sandra, going twice and sold. And now Sandra, let me know if you want one or both. And if one, please tell me which. Christine, you need a torque. I have some stuff that I that I have in. Um, you want both? Okay, got it. I do have torque somewhere. I have to go up into my storage and get it. So Sandra wants both at seventy. Okay. I think you're gonna love both of them. They're gorgeous, really gorgeous, and so in right now. Thank you for your bids, ladies. They are both gorgeous. You'll have a hard time picking which one to wear first. All right. And guys, I have ordered more necklace shorteners and brooch converters for us so that we can utilize that when we need to in these shows. And um, and I can sell them to you with the, with the products. All right. This is so pretty. And this is pearl glass crystals and it's lariat style or scarf style. Oh, I'm so glad you're happy. Congrats. And you know, you can tie this any way you'd like. And let me see if it's hand knotted. Let me see something. I think it is. I think it's hand knotted. Mm. No, it isn't. Okay. All right. And I'm going to start this for, I just had it a second ago. Hold on. I'm skipping around. That's why. Okay. I'm starting this at $40. Starting bid 40 and let me give you a measurement here. These are all pearls and glass beads. And this is thirty-four inches long. And you can tie it however you'd like. Let me just show you how it will look. And $40 will get us started. Look how beautiful that is. This is a carved flower. I'm not quite sure what that's made of. But this is glass, glass beads, and pearls. And these are so pretty. Sandra says, I found coin pendant earrings today. Oh, good. That's awesome. I have some in, in the show tonight, too, which I'll bring later. 
I will bring that later. Starting bid is $40 on this lariat. I love that it's got blue, gray, and black. And this will look really pretty with jet beads too. Let me see this. So pretty. All right, this might be a pass, guys. So we will move forward. All right, let's move forward, guys. Let's get to these. These, I believe, are unmarked Haskell. I have to put these on. They're gorgeous. I'm starting these at 85. The dealer I bought it from believes these are, are Haskell, but they are unmarked. And those are spectacular. Let me show you the back. Should have worn my hair up today. Okay, so these are the back. And the starting bid on these are 85. And let me put them on the earring tool and bring them close to you guys. They're clip-ons, obviously. They're unmarked Haskell, I believe. And the dealer who I met, she is amazing. I'm definitely going to buy from her again. She is incredible. She knew Kenneth J. Lane back in the day and had many, many stories for me. Okay. Hold on, let me bring this closer. Those are stunning. $85 will get us started. And there's the back. Let me put these on for you guys. Oh, and I bought the most spectacular Kenneth J. Lane earrings from her, which I'm keeping, but I'll show you guys later. Lisa P. is in at 85. I need a real mirror in front of me. Gosh darn it. These are so beautiful. Right? How gorgeous are these? Stunning. $85 looking for 90. They're big too. They're they're not too heavy, but they're very long, which I love because it's a real statement you're making here with these. And they are two and a half inches ballpark. Looking for $90. A lot of sparkle on these too. Judy, hope you're doing well, honey. All right, let's count these down for Lisa. These are just absolutely outrageous. Going once to Lisa. going twice and sold sold to lisa congrats those are beautiful oh my gosh absolutely stunning okay now Ninety six people here. Yay. That's exciting. All right, here's a treat. This is Scaparelli. OK, this is the Scap watermelon tourmaline brooch. Wow. 
right? And I, I'm going to have to put this on pearls, you guys know. Starting bid of $100. And let me put that on pearls because, you know, you know we have to see them on some pearls. $100 will get us started on this Scaparelli. Okay. Let me put this on here. Oh my gosh, this is going to be insane. Give me a second. Wow. Look at that. Vintage Scaparelli. $100 will get us started on that. Look at that sparkle. Look at those high beams. I know. Is that amazing? Really beautiful. Now, I love it on pearls, but obviously you can wear this in a million different ways. It is gorgeous. And it's got little faux pearls around the watermelon tourmaline. And it almost looks like sterling. I should have tested that. Maybe I'll test that because it looks like sterling to me. But I don't know for sure. So let me let me pull this for a minute. Hi, Anna. How are you? I'm going to test that. It really looks like sterling to me. I feel like it is. Hold on a second. No. Sometimes the vintage pieces are, but let me let me bring that closer. This might be a pass. I'm great. This is Scaparelli, beautiful watermelon tourmaline. It is signed. Let me get rid of this acid from my desk here before I get myself in trouble. Because once I work with acid, I almost always get it on myself. All right. Ah, oh, thanks, Shirley. So let me show you the signature on this. It's signed right there. That's vintage. Scaparelli. All right, I don't see any bids. If you're watching this after, feel free to connect with me. This is a $100 starting bid. And here it is for scale. Oh, I wonder, hold on one second. I'm going to do one more thing with this and then I'm going to move on. One more little thing. And that is to make it a pendant. So I wonder how that would look. I may have to wear this as a pendant. Hold on. Hold on, guys. I got these brooch converters that I'm kind of loving right now. And I'm going to throw this on a torque for kicks and giggles. Can you guys believe how much we raised last week? I kind of can't. I can't believe, you guys, that we did that well last week. It was unbelievable. Look at that. I need a different kind of converter, but that's what it would look like as a necklace. Pretty amazing. All right, we're moving on. We're moving on. All right. Now, let's do this. Let's do... Let's do this pretty gold tone butterfly brooch. 
How much was what overall, Nutter? I just re-registered at your text number. Great items tonight as always. The scap was $100 starting bid. And this pretty butterfly is going to be a $5 starting bid. And let me show it to you here for scale. $5 would get us started on that. It's gold tone. A pretty. Let me put this away here. Oh, how much for charity? $3,200. Oh, Teresa, I don't know. It's up to the people who won if they want to do an opening. $5 for this butterfly brooch. But I hope they do because that would be that would be super fun. All right, I don't see any bids for that. Let's move forward. This is awesome. This is sterling. It's for May. Oh, Janice is in for five. Thank you so much. Let me bring that up. Christine, you came in just under Janice. We're looking for $10. Let us know if you want to go to 10. Christine's at 10. Thank you for your bids. Looking for 15. Very pretty gold tone butterfly. Here's the back. $3,200 was raised. And I am thrilled with that. There's more Genesis out. Christine gets it for 10. Going once. Going twice and sold. So I couldn't believe it. $3,200. And I was really, really blown away by that. And there's still more items left that I have to sell. So for those of you who donated, I have not forgotten. I will bring that back. And we will do that at the end of some of my auctions or I'll have a designated one. Not tonight, but I will absolutely get to it as soon as I can. This is stunning. This reminds me of the Gucci horse bit motif. This is Vermeil, and look at how that's ended on the lock. It is marked. It was a magical night. It really was. Big lock on that. So you could probably you could probably even hang a charm, like a little charm bracelet, off of there. That is sterling Vermeil, and it is almost an eight. And it is really beautiful. And that is going to be a starting bid of 60 on that sterling silver bracelet. It reminds me of the Gucci horse bit. And look at this. How stunning. It's about eight inches. You can hang a charm from it. Hold on. The, um, the links are not aligned. Here we go. $60 will get us started. Doesn't that look like Gucci? Beautiful big links. It's about a size eight. $60 starting bid for this Sterling Vermeil bracelet. And let me put it near my wrist. And there it is next to my 14 karat gold and gold plated bracelet. Isn't that a great link? Gorgeous bracelet. And I love how it ends so pretty. And you can put a charm on that, of course. All right, we will move forward. Moving forward. Let's say, um, let's 
do oh this is cool i love this piece this is cloisonne i've never seen cloisonne quite like this because it's in a bangle versus the beads which i also have and i'm starting this at 60. look how stunning that is and i love the pop of color inside $60 will get us started. That's a Cloisonne vintage bangle. And I'll get you a size on that in a second. Isn't that pretty? Let me give you a size. Although this is, well, it's hexagon on the um, bracelet, but let's see. That is a size eight. I, you might call this enamel. I, it might, I don't know. I'm calling it cloisonne though. Really unique. All right, we'll move forward. Moving forward, we will do, these are all so beautiful. Oh, let's do this. Let's do this. This is I'm watching the chat. This is lapis. Very cool. It looks Turkish to me. And I'm going to do a starting bid of 60 on this. Very cool necklace. Nice piece of lapis there. Looks Turkish to me, but I'm not sure. I'll show you the back. Hi, Deborah. How are you? $60. We'll get us started on this one. This is lapis. And I'll put it next to me and give you a measurement. Beautiful necklace. And this is about 18 inches. It's hard when I wear jewelry, but the pendant is huge. It's about the size of the heart. Very cool motif. It's almost like carved into the metal. And this to me looks, it's not, but it looks like fake light. So it's fake light. Okay. We will move forward. Moving forward. All right. These are awesome. These are Joan Rivers. And let me see if I wrote this down. I don't think I did. So this is Joan Rivers, and I'm going to do a starting bid of 30 on these. These are gold tone shrimp earrings, clip-ons. I'm in an earring mood. $30 will get us started. There's the maker's mark. This is all back, you guys. All back and trending. Gold tone. Christine's in for 30, now looking for 35. Let me bring it closer. You can see from what I'm wearing today with my hearts, this gold tone is very hot right now, and it's very Carrie Bradshaw. I, you know what? You can also, I didn't realize this, you can also take the hoop part off and just wear that. And you can put another hoop in if you want to. 
So that's kind of neat. Looking for 35. Oh, you keep losing the connection. Debbie, I showed a beautiful Vermeer. I know you like silver Vermeer bracelet. Did you see that? Looking for 35 for these Joan Rivers amazing shrimp hoops. Looking for $35. They are marked. I know. Well, the, it's awesome because these will come off. And if you have other, you know, hoops, you can put them right in. Debbie, I started it at 60 and it's like a Gucci horse bit motif. Where did I put it? Oh, here it is. I was surprised no one bid on this. It's stunning. That's a $60 starting bid. All right, I'm going to call this for Christine going once, going twice. And sold. Sold to Christine. Thank you for your bid. Okay, Debbie's in for 60. Let me bring that back up. Okay. Yeah, I, I couldn't believe no one bid on that. I think that is just a stunning piece where'd i put it oh here it is yep six okay debbie's in for 60. i'll give it one more minute for anyone who joined late this is sterling silver vermeil it's eight inches and it looks like the gucci horse bit I have 60 looking for 65. It looks amazing with my 14 karat gold jewelry, but it is a little too big. So we're looking for 65 and Debbie's in for 60. Gorgeous links. All right, going once to Debbie. Going twice. And sold. All right, Debbie, I'm glad I showed that to you. You're going to love that. I really wanted to keep it, but it falls right off my hand. It's, um, it's not fitting me right. I'm a six and three quarters. Congrats. It's amazing. Amazing. All right, I'm going to bring another sterling silver piece out. It's a beautiful cuff. Starting bid of 70 on this one. And it's open in the back, so there's like a little bit of leeway you have here. It's sitting right now at around a seven. And let me weigh that. Thirty-three ounces. Oh, sorry, thirty-three grams. Great cuff, beautiful cuff. Starting bid of seventy dollars. It's got kind of a braid on the side there. $70 would get us started on this. It's really a great size. It is marked. Yes, it is marked and it's um, 
Let me find it. It is Mark 925 Mexico. And I'm looking for $70. You can probably see it. Let me see the marking. You can see it right down there. Yeah, there it goes. All right, I don't see any bids. Give it one more second and then I will move forward. Okay, we will move forward. All right, these are beautiful cloisonne vintage beads. And they're long. They are gorgeous. And let me see what my starting bid is on here. It's a $75 starting bid. Does size seven mean you can only wear it up to a seven inch wrist? Well, for this, there's like a little bit, of, I'm not gonna pull it, but there's like some leeway here. You can, you know, you can bend it and because it's open, you know, you've got space. I'm, I'm almost a seven, I'm a six and three quarters and you can see how it's big on me. So. All right, these are stunning cloisonne beads. And I am doing a starting bid of 75 on these. Hi, Boo. Now Boo's here. Look at the color on that. $75 will get us started. Boo, do not jump up there because the tray is there. Up. Oh, yeah, she's going to crawl in the bed. And this is 26 inches, so it's a nice long strand of cloisonne beads. Look at that. $75 will get us started. I feel like these are extra colorful. What do you guys think? They're exceptionally done. Hi, Boo. Becky's in at 75. Hi, sweetheart. You want to come up? Come on, honey. Here you go. Cutie pie. Okay, I have $75 looking for 80. Look at the color on that. Don't you guys think they're extra colorful? Let me bring them closer. I'll show you the lock. There's the lock. You sent me a bead measuring tool. I don't know where it is though. Um, Susan, um, it is somewhere and yes, you did. And this is, the beads are a half an inch, if that helps, half an inch. They're extra big and they're extra colorful. Looking for 80. Does a half an inch help? I think they're exceptionally big and gorgeous. Looking for $80. I have Becky Lynn's in at 75. These beads are a half an inch big. They're exceptionally large and colorful. And that's against my neck. 12 millimeters. No, it's here. I didn't, I didn't do anything with it. I promise it's here. I'm not in trouble. Hi, Christopher. Looking for $80. I did not lose it. I promise you I did not lose it. All right, I'm going to start to call this, guys. Going once to Becky Lynn's. Going twice. Okay. 
and sold. Those are gorgeous, gorgeous. Didn't I do well this weekend? Do you like this haul, guys? So cool. I had so much fun. Oh, my gosh. Is your bus thingy leather? No, it is not. It's pleather. It is pleather. And hello to Steven. It was so nice. Steven and Marzina not only pushed their auction later for the fundraiser, but then they sold items and sent me money, which was so nice. Oh, my gosh. Okay, the silver cuff, yes. Yes. The cuff is gorgeous. Oh my gosh. Okay. Will you make a little sound? You make a little sound sounds. Cutie pie. 90 here tonight. Thank you so much for joining. Please consider subscribing because I um I noticed many of you are joining but not subscribed. And I would love to have you as subscribers. All right, these are awesome. Whoops, I just dropped something. Um, okay, where am I? These are MJ Hansen. They are from the 90s, they're 1990s. And the top is Jade. And I am starting these for $80. And I'm going to put them on. They're huge and fabulous. They are signed. Another new designer. MJ Hansen. $80 will get us started. These are jade. They are handmade. And beaded. They're absolutely beautiful. I'm gonna put them both on. Yes, boo-boos. Are those pretty or what? MJ Hansen. $80 starting bid. Let me bring them closer. And you can see the design. The weight on these. Again, these are clip-ons. So, you know, these statement earrings are going to be a little bit heavier, but they're not posts. 18 grams. And these are jade. And, oh, I was going to put them on the earring holder tool. $80. We'll get us started. Are those beautiful? Yeah. These are stunning. Look how gorgeous those are. That's artistry. Absolutely beautiful. All right, moving forward. Keeping this for the Adrian collection. All right, this is another new designer I learned about. And this is awesome. This is Nettie Rosenstein. Now, 18 grams each. They're jade, so they're, you know, they're definitely going to be on the heavier side. And they're lacquer on the, on the back and hand-signed. All right? Hi, boo. All right. Nettie Rosenstein. Coin motif. This... Is this Egyptian Revival? Let me see. I thought it was, and now I'm looking, and I'm not sure about that. Centum Kauai. I don't know what this is. It's a swordsman, I think. Very cool. Look at the back. And I'm starting this at 90. Ninety. 
Google her. She's um, she was sold in Bergdorf, and her things are beautiful, gold plated. Let me put this on some pearls. Whoops. You love Nettie. Okay, Becky. Becky wants the jade earrings. Okay, got you. Hold on. Let me do that first. They're stunning. I mean, those are so unique, too. Let me just, I'll just look up here. Starting with 80. Okay, here. Let me put these away for you. Oh, my gosh. Are these gorgeous? Um, okay, Becky Lynn's. Do you hear Boo sounds? Her cute little sounds? I just love her. She has little, little, little sounds. Yes, they look like something I would make. Well, that's why you're on my show on Friday, Susan, because you're so talented. All right. Vampy Vintage loves Nettie. Okay, you remind me of Fallon from the original. Oh, I take that as a big compliment. All right, let me get that Nettie back. Where did I put it? All right, look at this, guys. $90 will get us started on this. Google her. If you don't know, please Google it because I feel like I got a couple of pieces from this um, antique there and i think the quality is as good or better than haskell will susan be oh yeah it's it's her show it's you know i'm gonna host but we are selling her stuff if she runs out of things i'll sell a few pieces but otherwise it is all about her on friday so Okay, so this was a $90 starting bid. It is a beautiful piece. And I also bought, but I'm not selling this yet, another piece of hers. Oh my gosh, look at this, guys. This is a present for Adrian. And I cannot believe the quality, and I can't believe I didn't know about Nettie. You have the Givant. Oh, okay, we'll need to get home to confirm. Yep. So these are the earrings. Do you want me to hold these for you? Let me know and I will. If you love them and you want me to hold them, I certainly will do that. I think I started them at 90. Okay, this is the other netty piece. Look at this. And I'll put the brooch away. Look at this piece. There's a character. Oh, of course I know who Fallon is. I've, I was... Definitely a dynasty girl. Look at this piece. Is that outstanding? Yes, Luna Grace, I'll hold that for you, honey. That necklace was gorgeous. So I was, when I found the earrings, I felt like, let me hold this. I'm going to just put it in a bag and say, hold. Luna Grace, hold. Okay. I know, I know it's perfect. This is so me, the necklace. Oh, boo-boos, you're making cute little sounds. Right, is that amazing? Ah, oh, love it. All right, let me, let me get a bin because I'm gonna do a giveaway. So let me do, let me get my bin so I can pick out of a hat. Hold on, guys. One second. Bill, you're making little sounds. Oh, I tripped. You're making little sounds. All right, let me put this all in a basket. And I will pick out of a hat and see who's going to be the lucky winner. And let me see what we are going to give away. Hold on a minute. 
we are going to give away I got to find something. Let's do a brooch. Okay. Let me do a brooch. What is this? Wow, that necklace. Nettie's jewelry has the look of real. Uh, for sure it does. Okay, let me see what this brooch was. I think this is Jerry's, if I recall. No, it's Lisner. Very pretty brooch. All right, so Lisner brooch. And I'm going to pick out of a hat. Hold on, I'll show you guys. All right. Pick out of the hat from who has made a purchase tonight. The more you buy, the more of a chance you get. And this goes to, I think this is Sandra. Yep, to Sandra. Congratulations. Thank you, Mom. Are you watching? Do you think I look like Fallon Carrington? Mom, what do you think? She was cute. Thank you, guys. Thank you so much. All right. This is just a very pretty bracelet. I could have sworn it was Monet. It is unmarked. And I'm going to start that for $15. Very pretty. And it is gold tone. Honestly, I could swear it was a Monet. Seven and a quarter. Very pretty bracelet. And nice. All right. Polly's in for 15. Thank you for your bid. Now looking for 20. Okay. Janice, you came in right after Polly. So we're looking for 20 and Jennifer came in at 20. Now looking for 25. Looking for $25. This is gold tone. Oh, I'm so glad I don't have to cook tonight. Not in the mood. Cooked the last several nights. Last night I made chicken parm. Day before I made London broil. I made chicken thighs and an amazing sauce with like tomatoes and basil. How big is it? It's seven and a quarter. So uh, Janice, Janice, are you in? Uh, Janice is out. Okay. And so Jennifer's my high bidder at 20. Right? Going once. Going twice. And sold. Thank you. Yay, is right. Okay. What is next? Oh, this is a really cool piece. Okay. This, this is marked. I'm learning about some new things from going to this show. I'm going to put it in the chat so you can Google it. It's marked. Hey, Joe. In Mexico, Casa Luna. So check those pieces out. And that's a starting bid of $60. This is really cool. I don't know what stone this is. But it is a natural stone. 
And this is in a brass. It's very cool. Let me show it to you up close. Just trying to see if this is an infinity chain, and I believe that it is without a lock. Okay. I've never seen anything like this. It looked like Sajin a little bit, but let me bring this up close. Very interesting piece. $60 would get us started on this one. Susan, what stone do you think that is? Any thoughts? Are you still in the chat? Very unique piece. And I did find a couple... Yeah, I know. It is a statement. I did find a couple like this online. And they aren't cheap, by the way. I didn't know if that was some type of quartz or... It's yellow. I mean, it's got the color of like a yellow-orange, like an amber, but... Which I really like. The color scheme here. Really neat. And there's the marking. right? $60 starting bid. I'll give it another minute. It's definitely a statement piece. The color is amazing. Looking for $60. And let me tell you how big the pendant is. The pendant is three and three quarters inches. And the chain is 26 inches. It's really awesome. It's very authentic looking. And it is from Mexico. And it is a vintage piece. All right, we will move forward. Moving forward. These are Carol Lee which I have a new appreciation for. You guys saw my Caroline necklace, which is selling online for like three, $400. Unbelievable. It's an artist piece, I know. Um, so these are faux pearl clip-ons, really beautiful with like a mesh gold rim. And I'm gonna start these for $20. This is vintage Caroline. $20 will get us started. Hi, Kate. How are you? For those of you who have uh, joined later in the broadcast on Friday, Susan Powell is joining me for the first Artisan's Corner. And that is my new show that will include a unique artist, artisan, who will showcase and sell their items on the show. And Susan is a longtime subscriber and customer that many of you know. And I've talked about her pieces and her work. So it'll be great to have her on the broadcast. And I'm really, really looking forward to that. All right, we're going to pass on the Caroline. Now... What would I like to, oh, this is Kenneth J. Lane. This is a rare Kenneth J. Lane. It's from the 1960s. It's from his Aztec collection. Some of you may be familiar. It's, it's on the rare side and it's this like bird man. It's huge. This is a size. It's got an expander inside, but it sits at it sits at like a five 
but it's got one of those, you know, expanding um, inside pieces. So it'll go to, it'll go to an eight. It's a cool. What is that? And it is signed. Let me see. I don't know what that is. This is signed Kenneth Lane. So it's not KJL. It's not Kenneth J. Lane. It's Kenneth Lane. That's how he signed his earlier pieces. And I'm starting this at $50. It is definitely a statement ring. A silly way to spell cool. Oh, Birdman thing. Um, oh my God. That's hilarious. Vintage Kenneth Lane. Kind of cool. It's um, let me give you some measurements here, guys. It is an inch and a half. I have the massive pendant necklace from this collection. Oh, Emily, send me a picture. I want to see. Send it to me. All right. We're moving forward. Let's see. What else I have to show you? This is vintage Monet. I don't know if I brought this before. This is not from the antique show. And I will start this for $20. Brush gold, vintage Monet, and it is seven inches. $20, we'll get us started. For this vintage Monet, it's a fold over clasp. I'm goofy, you will see on Friday. Oh, I know, I've spoken to you several times now, but goofy in an amazing way. Carol is in for $20. Thank you for your bid. Oh, Carmen, hi. Carmen, I think you're new. Please text me to connect so that I have your information, your email address, your YouTube name, and the Obviously, I think you're from Puerto Rico, so I need to know where you live. Um, so Barbara came in at 25. Now we're looking for $30. I love Puerto Rico, by the way. Um, used to go once a year with my parents. And welcome. Thank you, Debbie. Welcome, Carmen. Glad to have you here. Carol's at $30. It's a beautiful Monet bracelet. We used to go to the El San Juan Hotel and the Metropole, which is right there for dinner. I was there a couple years back, more than a couple because it was with a boyfriend and I'm with Mark for five years now. Carol's at $30, thank you for your bids. And mom, remember the Metropole? Barbara's out. Carol is at $30. Hello and thank you. I do live in San Juan. Awesome. Let me know, Carmen, if you'd like to go to 35 for this bracelet. And if you're out, Carmen, that's totally fine too. Usually we just let one another know when we're out, just like Barbara did. Right now, Carol's my high bidder. Carol's at 30 and I'm looking for $35. I need to get back to Puerto Rico. Mark and I are going to Turks and Caicos soon. It was my holiday gift to him. Carmen, let us know if you're out or if you'd like to go to $35, please. 
I know it's so delicious. It was yummy back then and it's still yummy. Okay, Carmen's out. So going once to Carol, going twice and sold. Thank you so much. This is a really, really pretty one. Okay, next. And let's do, let's do some amber. These are so sweet. These are in sterling. Oh, I should, you know what? Never mind. I'm bringing them to Valentine's. Forget it. Um, all right. These are coins. These are awesome. They were hearts. So I'm saving them for Valentine's Day. I am starting these gold tone coin earrings. At 45, these are clip-ons. They're stunning. Let me show you. $45 will get us started. Look how beautiful those are. Let me bring it closer. These are unmarked. Let me look one more time. It looks like they were marked at one time and it's rubbed off. I should have done a Google search, an image search, but I did not. But these are awesome. $45 will get us started. Turks and Caicos, I love. Is that a real silver rosy dime? Um, that's a good question. It says 1985. Liberty. I don't know if that answers your question. I think you mean Roosevelt. And I don't know the answer to that. I think so. Nope. Okay. $45 will get us started. These are awesome. I'll put them both on. Oh, I got my hair caught. I love coins right now. Stop making silver coins in 64, 65. Okay, good. We learned something. Thank you. Aren't they pretty though? Gold and silver tone, mixed metal, which is huge. Coin jewelry, which is huge. $45 will get us started. And let me measure them and then we will move forward if I don't see any bids. They're an inch and a quarter. Are they heavy? They're not light, but they're clips. So like when it's heavy with a clip, it doesn't bother me because that's when I would wear a clip is when it's a heavy earring. Because I wear both, posts and clips. 19 grams. So yes, the answer is they're on the heavier side. But if you're used to wearing clips, it's not a big deal. So we'll move forward, all right? Um, all right, this is pretty amazing. This is a beautiful sterling silver inlay pendant and brooch. Look at that. Look at the colors on that. And I'm going to start this at $45. And let me put that on a torque. Obviously. Oh, will it fit this torque? No, it will not fit this torque. And I don't have my slimmer one on here, but you can imagine. $45 will get us started. That's so pretty. And it is marked. Look how beautiful the colors are here. It's 
sterling silver, inlay, pendant, or brooch. What's up, boo? You're sitting so sweetly next to me, my little angel girl. What a good pet she is. So behaved, so sweet. Okay, moving forward. These are stunning. These are Weiss, vintage Weiss. They look real. I am starting these. Oh, okay. Luna Grace is in at 45. Thank you for your bid. We are at 45, looking for 50. I'll give it a second and then I will start to call it for Luna Grace. Going once. Going twice. And sold. Sold for $45 to Luna Grace. These are so awesome. I love coins. Coins were big tonight. Big stuff. All right. Let's do. Let's do. Oops. Over here. All right. Let's do these Weiss earrings. These look real. I mean, these look like sapphires. And... I will show you them. Oh, 45 for the pendant. Got it. Okay. Hold on. I thought you meant the coins. Sorry about that. Hold on, guys. All right. I'm calling it for you. What was I thinking? I don't know what I was thinking. I'm so sorry. It's getting towards the second hour. That's why. Okay. I got it. Sold. Okay, these are Weiss. These are vintage Weiss. These are Gorge. Um, and I am starting these at 75. That's wearing it this way. Look at those. 75 will get us started. This is vintage Weiss. I'm going to wear them now this way with the sapphires close. Let me bring them closer to you so you can really see the stones. They look brand new. These are spectacular. The color is like amazing. Let me bring them closer to you. $75, we'll get us started on these. Look how outstanding these are. Perfect condition. Vintage Weiss. Ooh, I hear your cute little sounds. $75, we'll get us started. This is Mark Vintage Weiss. Absolutely gorgeous. Let me pull my hair up. Are these outstanding or what? They look real. They look like sapphires. And they're probably big for diamonds, but they look like they could be... Um, I should keep them. <laughs> Are they not gorgeous? Judy, do you love them? They're really outstanding. All right, moving forward. This is a pass. Okay, these are the earrings I showed you earlier. And the vintage expert um, who was at the show believed that this was Dominique Arendis. Look how unique that is. And I'm starting these for $90. These are so special. Mm -hmm. 
$90 is the starting bid on these. Gorgeous earrings. Let me put them on the earring holder tool. And let me spell her name for you, for those of you who are not familiar. Boo-boos. It's hard to hear. Let me write this down. Because this was fairly new to me. I think I've seen this on um, Harissa's show. She's amazing. Oh, my gosh. If you don't know her. Oop. Yeah. Okay. $90 starting bid. Gorgeous earrings. Really special. Pooh, you're snoring. You're cracking me up. I have very small ears. Clip-ons are super hard for me. They're kind of like the wood ones, but they're a little more outrageous. Those are fossil coral. Harris. Oh, Susan, now I'm going to have to Google that. Is that expensive? That seems like it would be rare. And now that you say it, it does look like natural. $90 starting bid. Look at those nail heads. Not really, just very pretty, okay. All right, let's move forward. We will move forward. I think these are Monet. Yeah, these are Monet. Susan, you're amazing. I'm really looking forward to having you on the show. These are vintage Monet tassel earrings. I will start these for $15. $15 will get us started. These are vintage Monet earrings. These are super light and comfortable. I'm sure there's a necklace out there that matches too. Might be fossil palm wood. Barb's in at $15. Thank you for your bid. These are comfy as can be. These are um, tension clips, I think they called them. $15, looking for $20. Aren't these pretty guys? Little tassel. Jennifer's in for 20, now looking for 25. Barb, let us know if you'd like to go to 25. Barb is out. Going once to Jennifer. Going twice. And sold, sold to Jennifer. All right, thank you for your bids. Oh, no, they are not Sterling, they are, uh, they are Monet. So, all right, let's see what's next guys. Um, these are cool, these are a lot of earrings tonight. These were marked, but it's too hard to read. I don't know who made these, but they're fun. And those are gonna start at 15 as well. Everyone loves the tassel. $15, we'll get us started on these. These were marked, but I cannot read it. So they are a designer of some sort. Um, $15 will get us started. All of this is all back in style. 1980s gold tone 
amazingness. These have spots. It reminds me like of a leopard. They're really fun. Really fun. All right. I may have to pick from my lightning round. We're almost through it, guys. Almost through the haul. Do you want to do some lightning round? $15. They, yep. Let me bring, I'll bring them close. They are black and gold. They're awesome. $15 is the starting bid on these. Lightning round? Okay. We'll do lightning round, guys. So that was my haul. There were, um, I think there were only two more pieces that you didn't see. I'll put these away. This was one of them. Okay, Teresa's in at 15. I'm gonna call this fast. Going once to Teresa, going twice, and sold for 15. Um, and there were just a few more pieces I didn't show you. So let's see, these are awesome. These are Rojas designer earrings. And these are absolutely incredible. Look at that. Awesome haul, right? Oh my gosh. These are designer Rojas. And I was starting these tonight at $90. And this is spelled this way. So it's like this vase. They're so cool. Is that amazing? It was a high-end designer. So that you didn't see. And this, which is, I can't remember the artist from Puerto Rico. Someone will know. And that, that I'm going to start for 15. It's not marked though. It looked like the artist from Puerto Rico, but it's unmarked. So I will start that at 15. So let me know if either of those sparks your interest. Kind of cool motif here with the dancers, right? All right, so moving forward, Let's do lightning round, okay? I'm waiting for Mark to go to dinner. So these are Elizabeth Murray. These are awesome. They look like Haskell with the big Moby Pearl. All right, so guys, you know how lightning round works, right? So basically, I'm going to give you a price. I can't believe I haven't had a sip of water this whole time, by the way. Hold on. Mm. Okay, lightning round. I give a price. Hi, boo-boos. I'm going to give a price, and if you're interested in the item, you say want and the price. Hi there, was watching you at Valerie's. Oh, that's nice, Mom. I'm glad you're out and about. All right, let me get all my lightning round stuff, okay? Here we go. All right, so if you want the item, you say want and the number. Ready? Okay, these are Moby Pearl, a faux. They're marked. 
meringue. And this is $15. Oh my gosh, Emily, that's hilarious. First person to type want 15 wins the earrings. Any rings today? Carmen, I showed, um, I did show, I think one ring today, but what kind of ring are you looking for? Adrian, the copper piece. Yes, thank you. Do you think... Did he mark his things, though? My mom wants those. Okay. Mom, 15. Except she's not going to give, I'm not going to charge her because <laughs> she's my mother. Oh, that's funny. But she always does this, and then she tells me I should have sold them. So there you go. All right. Um, and yes, Barb, you're correct. But didn't he mark his all mine are signed. Yeah, I thought so. That's why I started it really low because I feel like it's um it's imitation. Right? Okay. All right. This is brand new. It's marked Tresca. And it's T R E S K A kind of a unique statement necklace. It needs to be like, you know, getting the kinks out with the blow dryer. You guys know how to do that. And this is going to be $20. So you have to write want 20. Adrian, charge me and send them to your mom. I'm not charging you, Marzana, but I love you. Mom, she keeps trying to do that. Marzana, you're the greatest. I love you. I love you. She's the sweetest mom. She wants to send you a present. All right, moving forward. All right, lightning round. Lightning round, guys. Uh, this is awesome. This is awesome. I think I would love this with pearls. I believe this is J. Crew. I'm not sure. Okay, all right. Carol wants that. Got it. Brand new, too. Carol, thank you. Yes, come on. I know. What, what do you want me to do? Marzena. She's going to be mad at me. She is going to be mad at me if I charge you. I'm just going to send them to her. Right? But I'll sign them from you. How's that? I will sign them from Marzena. All right? I think this is J. Crew. I'm not sure. It's super pretty. Let me untwist that chain. And I think that because of the tag, but it doesn't say J. Crew on it. So I don't know, but I'm pretty sure. J. Crew makes some lovely costume jewelry. And I am going to say, let's put this here. Let me untwist that. Pretty, right? Hold on. Let me snap this lock. $20 for this J. Crew necklace. Oh, I don't feel like you guys get the idea. I know. She's so sweet, isn't she? This has got to be glass. It's faceted. Okay, Carmen. Yay, your first purchase with me. Nice. I'm glad you're here and that you're enjoying and that you've made your first purchase. Where's my husband, by the way? Waiting for him for dinner. The longer he is, the more jewelry we're going to show. So that's fun. All right. Now, I hope I'm not running into somebody's show, though. Usually I try and stick to my time, but um, I hope no one else is on. But anyway, all right. This is Napier. The pendant to me 
looks like Givenchy. First time here. Found you from Donna's channel. That's awesome. He could take his time. Ah! All right. This is vintage Napier. This is very cool. It's very long. I got to measure this before I give the price. Cool, right? Hold on. Let me measure it. I think I hear him. Maybe, maybe not. This is 30 inches. The pendant itself is four and a half. And this is going to be $40. That is vintage Napier. Mom, you can't do that. You can't do that, honey. All right. Barbara came in first. Okay. So that goes to Barb Malvina. Thank you, guys. I have much more. I need new bags, though. Hold on a minute. Hold the phone. If Mark actually watched me, I would tell him to come home from the office. Hold on, please. I need your bags. I can't find my I can't find my sheer bags, but I will use these. Okay. Gloria. Hello all. I just picked up some items. Probably have more. Okay. Um, all right. So let's do this is for Barbara. Pokemama is funny. I mean, this is the best way. I mean this in the best way. Yes. She's very funny. She has a very good sense of humor. Wow, 113 people here tonight. Thank you so much. Please subscribe if you are not already subscribed. Um, it helps me grow this channel. I'm not, no, that's not. Okay, hi, boo-boo. All right, this is pretty. This is like a... Um, pearl and smoky topaz. I can't. I know, Barbara. I know. Holding it for you. No, I can't. My mom is this is the boss of me. Marzana. Um, okay, this is cool. This is like pearl and smoky topaz color. And we are playing the lightning round game. So this is, I'm reading the chat. Hi, hi, D. Gloria, thanks for subscribing. I appreciate it. I really, really do. All right. This is going to be $30. Boo boos. Cute little angel. Isn't that cool? So fun. It's like a treasure necklace with faux pearl and these topaz stones not real topaz obviously otherwise it would not be thirty dollars all right we move forward but i'm watching this is a cool one this is so cool i feel like you could also put a purse on this or put this on a purse and this is magnetic. And look how this hangs. Look how stunning that is. You see that? That is fabric. And that is going to be $25. It's really pretty. I feel like I would hang a purse from here. 
you know, so you hold it like this with the tassel. Really pretty. I'm watching the chat, guys. Yes, remember thumbs up, please. Oh, it's, I wanted to show this to you, Sue. I think this is yellow. This was going to be in the fundraiser. I think this is yellow turquoise. Sue, are you still here? Look at that. Sue, are you still here? Is this yellow turquoise? I'm pretty sure it is. It's so pretty. I'll wait for her to tell me. She's my expert. You guys are going to love her. Oh my gosh. I've talked to her a bunch of times. She's amazing. Yeah, it looks like it to me too. Is that gorgeous? All right, this is a buy it now lightning round for $90. $90. Oh, poor Boo, my little angel. That's a buy it now for 90. Look how stunning that is. That's several strands, guys. It's one, two, three, four, five strands of. Beautiful turquoise. Yellow turquoise. It's not regular turquoise. Boo wants to be on camera. I know she does, but she's what she really. Yeah, yellow turquoise is definitely a thing. Boo, is she wants to be on camera, but she's crying because she also wants her dad. She's crazy about Mark. Crazy about Mark. All right. Is there anything that I didn't show that you wanted to see? Someone asked for rings. I think Carmen asked for rings. Is there anything else that I can grab for you guys? And then I will call it a night. Let me grab a few rings, guys. All right? Since we have some new folks, including Carmen. I'm going to grab my sterling silver stuff. And let me adjust the temperature in here for a second. Okay. Okay, this is, I'm going to move to a, an auction. All right. This is cool. This is sterling silver. It is a size seven. And it's mother of pearl inlay. And I'm going to do starting bid of 35. This is sterling silver. $35 will get us started. So there's that. I'll do a couple rings. Might as well, waiting for Mark. Okay, Kathy G is in for 35. Thank you for your bid. Now looking for 40. Looking for $40 now at 35. Okay, going once to Kathy G. Going twice. And sold for 35. Where'd I put that? Okay. Thank you, Kathy. So pretty. All right, let's do another. I have my sterling in front of me. 
All right, this is amber. Several different colors of amber. It almost looks like a crown. And this is a size six. And I'll get that started for $40. I love the back. Look at the back of that. Starting bid, $40. And this is a size six. It's not a want, Marzana. It's a starting bid. Marzana's in at 40. I jumped from lightning round to regular auction. Marzana's in for 40, now looking for 45. It's very cool. I see you, honey. It's a regular auction. We're at 40, looking for 45. One, two, three, four, five pieces of amber in there. All right, I will start to call it down for Marzana. Going once. Going twice. And sold to Marzana for 40. Very nice deal. Nice deal. You're going to love that, Marzana. Amber Zana. Okay. Next ring. Okay. These are, I can't remember. I bought this at an estate sale. I can't remember if there's a marking on here. It's sterling and very small diamonds. This was from such an amazing estate sale a while back. You guys remember, I can't remember if this is Effie or something. It looks like NH, not sure. But these are little baby diamonds. And this is a size seven. It almost looks like Yerman, finally my size. <laughs> That's cute. It almost looks like Yerman style. These are baby diamonds. nice sparkle on there and that's going to be a starting bid of ninety dollars size seven if this were Yerman, it would be five hundred dollars Size seven, sterling and diamond chips. Okay, that's a pass. And let's see what else I have. I have, this is pretty. This is also sterling. It is pretty, very pretty. This is sterling. This is a size eight and a half. And these are cubics. Starting bid of $45. Size eight and a half. Let me write that. Starting bid, $45. Looks like my band, same idea. Mona Lise is in for 45, thank you for your bid. And this is marked, don't get excited, but this is marked CC, it's not Chanel, and it's 925. Marked CC 925. Looking for $50, we have 45. Hi honey. How are you? 
Going once to Mona Lee's. Going twice. And sold. Sold to Mona Lee's. Congrats. Beautiful ring. And let's see, what's next? What's next? This is pretty. This is also sterling. It's marked 925. This is a catch and release. I got this from Thelma about a year ago. It's very pretty. And this is a size seven. And that's a crystal. Very pretty. I love the setting on this. And I'll start this at $30. Hi, Jackie. $30 starting bid. Does not look good with my red nail polish, but you get the idea. I think this is a copy of the Jennifer Lopez, Ben Affleck original engagement ring. Remember that ring? I do. Of course, because I love my J-Lo. Love, love, love. Um, okay, what's next? Should we go off of rings? Guys, what do you want to see till Mark gets home? Talk to me. Talk to me. What do you want to see? Any ideas? 108 people here now. And I am all yours. I'm waiting for Mark to get home. This is so pretty. This is faux sapphire. This is six and three quarters. Also in a sterling setting. Six and three quarters. That looks real to me. In sterling. And I will start this at $25. You want to see stones. Oh, you want to see um, like semi-precious jewelry? Okay. Any size eight. I don't know. Um, that's seven and a half. And this is adjustable. This is a moonstone and garnet. So Carmen, that's, um, it's got a small crack in there but it's inside, it's all the way inside, it's not on the outside. And this is, I'll tell you exactly, someone wanted a, an adjustable back here, so they took the front of probably an earring or something and they made it into a ring. It's really, really beautiful. And I will start that at 25. What this is, I've tested this, it's sterling here not the back, just on this piece here. $25 will get us started. Yes, boo. It's a beautiful ring and it's adjustable. So Susan's in at $25 first. Carmen came in after. Nutter's at 30. looking for 35. Yeah. Um, I got this from somebody who adjusted all of their rings with these, um, sterling silver and natural stones, but they put on all of these like things to make them adjustable. So that's all garnet for instance. I think they took pendants. Okay. Where are we? Susan's out. We go in increments of five, everybody. So um, Nutter was at 30. Mishka went to 35. Nutter went to 40. Mishka said out. Boo wants to bid. 
Nutter is my high bidder at 40. Carmen's out. Thank you for letting me know. Mishka's out. Susan's out. So I'm going to start to call this for Nutter at 40. Going once to Nutter. Going twice. Oh, that's nice, Mishka. And sold to Nutter. Thank you for your bids, everybody. All right, Susan, I'll show you some natural stones. I'm going to go into my stash. Listen, if Mark's going to be late, I just, I'll just i just keep on keeping on here. Why not? Putting the rings away. Although I'm going to have a lot, of, a lot of shipping to do. A lot of shipping to do. Okay. Let me get my stash. This is crazy. I have a huge box of natural stone. Okay. All right. Now let's see. Okay. This is This is a cool piece. This is pearl and malachite. Oh, the garnet ring. Yeah. This is also adjustable. I think this was from an earring because it's got this little piece that goes like this. It is adjustable in the back. And I'll start this at 20. And this sits at... This sits at an eight. It's got, it does have that little thing at the, um, hi Pandora, it's been a long time. How are you? It's got this little doohickey. That's articulated. Pandora's in at 25, looking for 30. This front piece is sterling. So what this person did is they converted, this must be an artisan, they converted earrings into rings with adjustable backs. The piece itself here is sterling and these are garnets, but this piece is not sterling, okay? Hi, Alex. We are now at 30, looking for 35. Michelle is at 35. Hi, Michelle. Hope you're doing well. The garnets are outstanding on here. Pandora is out. Michelle's at 35, looking for 40. There he is. There you are. Looking for $40. Carmen's at 40, now looking for 45. I'm great, Michelle. Hi, honey. Are we going to go to dinner? We're going to go to dinner, but I've been selling and selling because you weren't here. Say hi to everybody. Hello. My mom likes to see you. She says, I never get to see Mark except on your show. <laughs> oh, God, that's terrible. All right, Michelle's I need a, at 45. I need, a, I need to give you a ring, Marcia. Well, she means see. Oh, see you. FaceTime you. FaceTime. Yeah, we should. Well, she doesn't really FaceTime. Mm. Mom, okay, it's so, Mark. So we'll see you on the show then next time. We'll see you on the show. <laughs> All right, Carmen's at 50, looking for 55. 60. Mark. 60. Mark. 61. Mark. Get ready for dinner. I'm ready. Oh, you ready? Mm -hmm. Becky says hi. Hello. Michelle is out. Carmen's at 50, and I think everyone else went out. So I'm going to call it for Carmen. Going once for 50. Going twice for 50. And sold. Awesome. Thank you for your bids. All right, I'm going to do one more thing because I promised um, I promised Susan I'd get out my natural stones. So let me do that. And then I'm going to go to dinner with hubby. 
I hope I didn't run into any other auctions. I just kept going, didn't I? Um, I hope I didn't interrupt somebody. I do not like to do that. Anyway, um, okay. So let's do one more piece, and then I'm going to call it a night, guys. This is all malachite and pearls. I'm glad he's home. I was beginning to worry. That's so cute. Uh, I wasn't. You know why I wasn't? Because while we were on air here, I saw him texting me some stuff. Um, because we're working on a project, so I saw some stuff come through. I can't remember if the findings are sterling or not. Not that it matters because it's so small. Um, yeah, they are. Findings on here are sterling. This is all malachite and pearls. And this is, you did not. Wait, what did I do? What did I do? You did not. Um, so this is 17 inches with a four inch extender. And it's malachite and pearls. It's gorgeous. I have to twist it the right way. Hold on. Let me twist it the right way. Run into, oh, I did not run into auction. Okay. Run into other auction time. Much. Oh, much. Oh, no. Um, yeah, I really don't like to do that. Some people say it's really not a big deal, but I try, I really do try not to. All right. I'm going to go off the air though after this. Um, okay. So this is gorgeous. And this is going to be, if the fabric tassel necklace is yes. All right. Hold on. So I would twist this. You can use it messy, do it messy, but I would also twist this. Honey, no, 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 no. Oh, loud. All right. $80 will get us started on this. It's a lot of pearls and malachite on there. Um, Amanda, just give me one second. $80 will get us started. This is gorgeous. Malachite and pearls. All right, let me do the fabric. Isn't that cool? I think I said 20, Amanda, right? Pretty sure I said 20 on that. Hi, Lynn, how are you? Yeah, it's so pretty. All right. Stunning, but not my style. No, I'm not going to end on a pass. I never add on a, I, I never end on a pass, Susan, because it's, um, it's bad luck, I think. So I'm going to do one more thing. Okay. I'll do one more thing, but no pressure anybody. Okay. Because... If I, if you don't want something, I will go to the next thing. No big deal. But I'm going to try and pick something very interesting. Oh, that's cool. I'm going to put that in there. Hold on. Hold on. No, not that. Give me a second. Thanks. Hope it was now. I want to find something interesting. All right, maybe I could do a choice. That'd be fun. All right, let me end on a choice. Let's see. Hold on, guys. All right, I'm going to end on a choice. Ready? All right, here's the choice. This is lapis. 
and it's on gold filled beads. Must have missed half the auction being disconnected. All right, we'll go back. Some things didn't sell. I always give, um, I always let it, uh, let people have it at the starting bid. This is 20 inches. It's gold filled and lapis. Okay. And then this is garnet. And it is, let's see how long. I, you know what? I'm not going to do the garnet. It needs to be restrung. Sorry. Hold on. Let me find something else. That needs to be restrung. I don't think it's tight enough to sell. Oh my goodness. This should be easier. <laughs> Oh my gosh. All right, so it's lapis and Guys, I'm not pulling it together very well. Hold on. I will get this done. All right, let's do two lapis necklaces. That's what I'll do. Okay? Two lapis necklaces. One is on gold filled, and the other, I believe, is sterling. Hold on, let me just see the marking for the journey. <sighs> no, that's not good either. All right, I'm gonna do, are you guys laughing at me? Lapis, I'm such a troublemaker. All right, I can't find the second, Let, I'm not doing choice. Okay, let's just do the lapis on gold filled, I'm starting this at $20, okay? Very bright, lapis. $20 starting bid. I was going to do a choice, but I can't find another. $20 will get us started. Jackie's in at $20. You're a joy to watch and thoughtful. Oh, that's so nice. Thank you very much. Thank you so much. So sweet. All right, where'd this come from? All right, um, Jackie came in first at 20, now looking for 25. Nutter's at 25, now looking for 30. This is lapis and gold filled beads and findings. Nutter's at 25, now looking for 30. Debbie's out. Jackie came in first at 30. Deborah Tyler, let me know if you'd like to go to 35. That is gold filled and lapis. Beads. Susan is out. Susan, let's talk. Let's talk tomorrow. I don't know if you're looking for stuff to use in your jewelry or just to wear, but I actually have a very large collection of just beads, semi-precious beads. So let me know. This is Robert Lee Morris and I have matching earrings and I will bring this to my Valentine's Day auction. Um, Deborah is at $35 looking for 40. We call it blue jean lapis, just bright and beautiful. Thank you. Um, Jackie's at 40. And we're looking for 45. I'm interested in beads. Okay, Julie, please, um, please text me and let me know what you're looking for. I have a lot of semi-precious stuff. Um, Deborah Tyler is at $45, looking for $50. Jackie's out. Susan's 
So Deborah is at 45 looking for 50. Kate Sleuth is out. I think Deborah is my only bidder at this point. So we are going to call it. And that is for 45. Going once to Deborah Tyler. Going twice. And sold. All right, guys. Thank you so much for joining. I really, really appreciate it. It was a pleasure to spend the evening with you. Do not miss Friday. Do not miss Artisan's Corner with Susan Powell and all of her creations. It's going to be a fun night. And yes, Jackie, look what didn't sell. Um, and in terms of beads, I have tons of stuff. So if you guys ever want to be that or a, or a jewelry jar, let me know. Cause I make those and custom build them. Thank you so much. Good night all appreciate you joining. Bye. Love you.